the last live stream we did on Friday about what the bank CEOs were saying. It's kind of funny to watch and listen in on this stream and you're going to want to be here for the whole thing. Trust me. So let's first of all, just go over what that CIBC CEO actually said. Um, so he said, this is not a bank credit problem. This is a consumer lifestyle issue. And that was the CEO of CIBC. So he's essentially saying it, it's nothing to do with our lending practices. It's not a credit issue. It's all to do with the consumer, the dirty consumer. And uh, they almost make it out like they don't need to lend to that consumer. They're all good when that is their primary business model, as I said before. So let's take a look at this video and see what's going on. The CIBC Home Power Plan, a powerful plan that can help your dreams become a reality. A powerful plan that can help your dreams become a reality. Hmm. Well, they're not going to be talking about debt slavery. They're not going to be talking about debt, surely. No matter how well you plan, big expenses and unplanned costs can sometimes feel like they come out of the blue. But what if financially you could be better prepared? Well, you can. Yeah, maybe some more debt. That will help you be more financially prepared, won't it? Is that what you're going to suggest to me, CIBC? Well, you can. You see, with the CIBC Home Power Plan, your mortgage and home equity line of credit are brought together as one. Sounds like a match made in heaven, doesn't it? The home equity line of credit and the mortgage together bundled as one. What could possibly go wrong? And remember, this home power plan, I mean, the, the cue is in the name, power. Uh, this came out in 2019, or at least this was when the, the advertisement for this power plan came out. It could have been going long before then, and it's still going right now. And essentially what it is, is use your cat, use your house like an ATM. So let's continue on. So as you pay down your mortgage, your credit limit automatically increases. That's one powerful combination. So essentially your debt just goes up as your mortgage goes down as you pay it down. Essentially, I mean, that's not the mechanics of what's happening. Really, your credit is just going up as your mortgage goes down. But a lot of people are going to see that as a potential opportunity. And that's really what happened. That's what drove a lot of the mania, I believe, during 2020 and 2021 was people saw it as a massive opportunity because the interest rate that they were paying on these home equity line, line of credit was extremely low to, you know, cash out that money, go and buy another investment property on a variable rate mortgage, use that money as a down payment, using debt as a down payment. And then essentially what you're doing in that situation is you're just stacking domino behind domino. And essentially when they all fall down, we all know what happens. And that's what has happened in Canada's housing market. And it's nothing new. And really, you start to get products like this, you start to get things like this when you're getting towards the end, when you're getting towards the mania, things that just don't make logical sense anymore. But essentially, all that's happening is they're just trying to squeeze every last drop out of the bubble. And when I say they, I'm of course meaning the banks. So let's continue to see what they talk about with this. Let's see how it works. Say you've purchased a home valued at $500,000 with a mortgage of $400,000. With the CIBC Home Power Plan, you can use the value of your home to access money. As you pay down your mortgage principal each month, your credit limit will automatically increase up to a maximum of 65% of your appraised property value. So, I mean, the visuals on this video, even a child can understand what is going on. And if you have a child and, you know, they're around 10 years old, then please play them this video and see if they can get the gist of what's going on. Because it's very clever and it's very simple. The way they've put it is so they've oversimplified it, essentially. 
They're not mentioning any, any of the risks whatsoever. They're not saying leverage can be risky or anything like that. They're making it out to be so simple, so easy. And that's exactly what they want to do because they just want to lend, 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 lend until you are essentially keeled over. So it's, I mean, it's really, really bad, but let's move on to the next one. In this case, you'd start with a mortgage of $400,000. As you pay your mortgage principal down to $350,000, your credit limit will automatically increase to $50,000. As you continue to pay down your mortgage principal, your credit limit will continue to increase. I mean, how could you lose on that? As you pay your mortgage down, your credit limit goes up. And, and in some senses, it's not a bad thing. I mean, if people weren't using their home equity line of credit, for buying cars, funding their lifestyle, and um, everything like that. I mean, don't get me wrong, some people use it for like legitimate pur purposes, but I don't really see how you could use a home equity line of credit for like a renovation or something like that, because anybody who's done any deal or like great deal of research into home renovation knows that it, whatever you spend on the job, you're not going to get that back entirely in the value of the home um, so it kind of makes zero sense like you can't exactly say oh yeah we'll we'll get this kitchen we'll put it on our home equity line of credit because it's going to add value to your home yes it will add value to your home but it's never going to be the amount that you pay and typically people go overboard on these things as well and spend just insane amounts of money so I think it's really dangerous to let people have this and in places like Europe the home equity lines of credit just aren't common um, you know, if you if you asked a person in Europe or in the UK, like how to use their house as an ATM, they're not really going to know or understand. They might have heard of different products like reverse mortgages, but it's not common practice. And I guess part of the reason for that is some people have learned their lesson from 2008. I mean, don't get me wrong, the UK is part of this bubble as well. They're in a smaller bubble than Canada, but they're still in a big bubble. So the the thing is, it's just kind of crazy to me that you've got these products that are so similar to what caused the, fi the great financial crisis. And they are being marketed in a way that is so simple, it's targeted to just make you feel warm and fuzzy and think, oh yeah, yeah. But surely, surely they are not gonna now come out and start saying, start giving us use uses for this home equity line of credit, surely, surely. That's money you can borrow for anything that's important to you, such as education, paying down your high interest debt, home improvements, or any unplanned expenses. You'll only pay interest on the amount you borrow from your line of credit. Yeah, I mean, so they're just planting the seed in your mind there. And then people will think, oh, you know what? We could use that money as a down payment. We could buy an Airbnb in a different country. We could utilize that money. And that's exactly what has happened. And the thing is, the risks were never outlined that, you know, you, you could be in a very precarious situation. For example, if you if you overextended yourself by borrowing a lot from your home equity line of credit, the value of your home depreciates instead of appreciates because this video doesn't even talk about that, but it assumes that the value of your house is gonna go up because they don't even talk about the consequences of that. And of course, they're not talking about risks or consequences, which is part of the trouble uh, I have with these type of videos. I think they are very, very misleading um, and they kind of rope people in who are vulnerable to getting into these kind of debts as well and getting further and further into debt. People just have been given all these, um, I don't want to call them tools, the politicians use that word all the time and I don't like it anymore for that reason. But they're, they're trying to give you all these different options essentially to borrow and they all lead to the same place of debt slavery, of constantly being in debt. I mean, even they show you on the chart of how your credit limit goes up as your home value, as you pay down your mortgage. So essentially, 
you've always got credit to borrow. You can just borrow, borrow, borrow. And people have done that when they've lost their job, they've relied on their home equity line of credit. If they need a new car, they've relied on their home equity line of credit. It even alludes to it in that video there with the with the tow truck saying that the car's broken down. Oh, you can just use your home equity line of credit. Everything's great. And now the interest rate people are paying on these lines of credit are like upwards of eight to 12%, depending on what they are. So these lines of credit have, have gone like up like two, three, four hundred percent over the past couple of years. And nobody was told about those risks. And yet the bank CEOs are saying, oh, this is a consumer lifestyle issue. It's not our problem. But they market their products in a way that appeals to people who get into this these type of debts who are vulnerable to this because the way they put it so simply, the way they don't acknowledge or understand, well, just acknowledge any of the risks is just, uh, it's dangerous. It, it really is dangerous. And that's part of the reason we've got to where we are in this bubble. So let's see what the ending is like on this thing. Talk to your advisor about payment strategies to reduce your borrowing costs over time. And we're here to help you understand how much you can borrow on your home, the legal requirements, and explain other service fees that may apply. The CIBC Home Power Plan brings the power of flexibility and peace of mind together as one. I mean, at the end there, they're trying to make you feel all warm and fuzzy and like they're there for you and they care about you because they're quickly going to flash up all these things. But the main takeaway that the average Joe and Jane is going to have from this video is going to be one of, oh, we can borrow from our house like this. We could have a renovation. We could do something. You know, when this money is not there, they can't afford it. They don't understand that it doesn't exist. It is credit. It's not money. It's not wealth. It's not equity because it's not realized. So, I, and, and this has been a problem in Canada for a long time. And it's also been a big problem in the United States too. This idea that you can just use your house to fund your lifestyle. Boomers have been doing it for decades. And there's also been stories of people, you know, taking money from their home equity line of credit and then giving their daughter and son, let's say, down payments for their ha for their home. So I mean, it's just unbelievable when you really think about it, how people have just abused, well, not I guess abused isn't the right word, but how people have utilized these lines of credit. And it has really just driven the bubble so much. And you know, part of me always wonders how how the how how inflation would be a lot lower in Canada, especially over the past 10 to 15 years, I think, if these type of products weren't available, because uh, these type of products are new money. It's essentially creating new money into the system. I've done videos on it in the past. This is where the money supply is created. It's created primarily in credit with the government and in the consumer and the private sector. It's all credit based. We live in a credit-based system. So if you didn't have people relying on your home equity, I reckon, yeah, I reckon like car prices, things like that, they'd have to come down because people wouldn't be funding them in that way. But then again, they just make up other products that, that the financial engineering uh, industry is very, very clever. Let's let's not... Um, Let's not underestimate them, let's say. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, you might like this one here. You might also like the net, the last one. If you haven't seen that video, just go and check it out because you'll really get more of this video too. And I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye.